Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, of course, we're going to a brand new deck. And last week I said I was done with tribal. I am not. <laughs> I found a new tribal, and we're going to go ahead and deal with that. But before we get into it, go ahead and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you if you do. And we also love you anyway, because you're watching us right now. So with that, we are going into Hell Hydra. It's not red or black, but it's pretty fun Bant Hydra deck. And with uh, Gargos being in the new set, it yeah. gets, he's ridiculous. That dude's crazy. Yeah, he's just, just for six men alone, he's just insane. So with that, I guess we'll go ahead and start with him since I called him out. Put him on the spot. Uh, Gargos, Vicious Watcher, three and three green, uh, has Vigilance for eight, seven. So just those stats alone blows my mind. Uh, Hydra spells you cast cost four less to cast, so cool. Whenever a cr creature you control becomes a target spell, Gargos fights up to one target creature you don't control. So immediately, like any creature, so not even just him, so if they want to go kill him, you immediately get to kill one of their creatures, which is a great, a, a great positive thing. So, I don't know. I, this guy is insane. And if you get him in limited, you just win. I haven't, I haven't yeah. lost or yeah, won against this, as soon as this guy lands. This dude's pretty crazy. Yeah, this guy is insane. But with that, we'll go ahead and get into the other creatures of the game. Alright, so next up is a Hungering Hydra. He is a green and X. He gets X counters, where X is, or X is the counters. Yep. And he can't be blocked except by one creature. That's good. And when he deals, when he's dealt damage, put that many one counters on him. He has to survive the damage first. Yes, of course. So... This way, when you fight or whatever, then you can make them bigger. Or when you swing and they only have one blocker, they have to, you know, they have to jump block. So there you go. And if you're wondering how that works with X cards, you essentially just make it cost five or four. Yeah. With Gargos, and then you get four free counters. Exactly. So you can pay one green and make this guy a four-four. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. Pretty silly. Pretty pretty super silly. And to help you with getting on that ramp is of course a Lena World. It's a one-one for one. That taps for a green mana, and that's just what you need to do. Yeah, dude's good. Hopefully, you just get there, of course. Next up is Hydroid Crisis. Hey, oh, he's yeah, back. Why not? Green, blue, and X for a XX, where X is like you get counters on him, like always. Yep. But this time, when you cast this spell, you gain half X life, and you draw half X cards round down each time. And then he's got flying and trample. Yep, he has flample. And uh, everyone knows that this guy's just. He's pretty good. He's pretty solid. Yeah. Especially if you just need to draw more cards. And yeah, we'll go on to the next guy. He just does everything. Yeah. And for Gargos, automatically you draw two cards and gain two life. Just by two two mantas. Now this guy is also one of the newer Hydras. Verocious Hydra. X, green, green. He's a zero one, one which is different from the Hydras, and this is why. Well, he has Trample, so good. He enters with uh, X, one, one counters, as always. And when he enters the battlefield, you get to choose one. You can double the number of 1-1 counters on him, which is pretty insane just to begin with. Or you can have a fight target creature you don't control. And that 0-1 toughness is a lifesaver. Like, so you basically can play it on curve and kill a creature, and like he's a 3-4 for on turn 5 and you can kill a dude. Like it, It's super solid. Yeah, that's, that's pretty silly. Yeah, that or you could just make him a huge guy and good luck because he has trample. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Next up is Evolution Sage, a green two for a three two elf, elf druid. Yep. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. Yep. So all my hydras are gonna get bigger. Yep. The more lands you play, this helps with. I was trying to figure out a way to make sure early game hydras don't super suck because they are. You know, you you play hungry hydra on turn two for a one one that might get bigger, but with Evolution Sage, this hopefully gets you there and you can start pumping up all your dudes like that. I like it. Yeah, I, it's weird that he's a 3-2 and not a 2-3 because you're trying to like stay back. You're not really trying to attack with the Sage, but whatever. The next one, of course, is I already made a deck with this guy, but Bio Essence Hydra. It's a 3, green, blue, 4-4 four, four, trample. Enters the battlefield, you put one one counter for each loyalty counter on the Planeswalkers you control. And then, or whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers, you get that many as well. So. Turn five, he can be really huge if you get your Planeswalkers, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and jump in right now. First one is Jang Yangu, the Wildcrafter, a green and two for a three loyalty walker. 
His flat ability is each creature you control with one one counter has tap add one man of any color. Yep. And you can minus one on him to put a counter on target creature. This helps for you if you play sooner Hydras and then you put one one counter on the Hydra and then tap for bigger Hydras or try to get Gargos out as fast as possible. He's just kind of silly good kind of thing. I like him. Yeah. The next one is one of the newer Ajani's, but then not the new new Ajani. Uh, the Great Hearted. Two green, white, five loyalty. Creatures you control have vigilance. And if Gargo's having vigilance, why not all your other Hydras? It's pretty good. You can plus one, gain three life to help you outstay the aggro match. And then if you minus two, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control and loyalty counter on each other Planeswalker you control. So this helps with Hydra and then all the other Hydras and it just like kind of, it's a weird balance like that. So, I don't know, he's, he seems pretty good, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, next up is a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Two white and two for a four loyalty walker. Mm -hmm. He's the old M19 one, so he's still got some life in him. Yep. You plus one, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of up to two target creatures. That's what we're trying to do. Minus Hopefully. two, return target creature with confirm mana cost X or two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Man. Cool. And then minus seven, you get an emblem with, at the beginning of your instep, create three 1-1 one -one cat tokens. Like I said, he's just there to help balance out the early Hydras. If you do turn two Hydra, turn three Hydra, and then you're just like, counters, 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 counters. And just do it like that. He may be really, really cute. I need to see something. Yes. So yeah. you can get a voracious Hydra back with his other minus two, because it's a zero one. That's and what I was... just keeps stacking counters. That's what I was thinking too. It was like, you can bring him back. Zero one, he survives, and then pop, 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 Yeah, pop. it's pretty awesome. Just good old counters that way. Now with that, that is the Planeswalkers, but we do have some of the spells, of course, is Growth Spiral, because it's good. Green, blue, draw a card, instant. You may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. Helps you ramp, and also if you have the Proliferate guy, it helps you just do more pro proliferation. Next up is Titanic Brawl, a green and one instant. This spell costs one less to cast if it targets a creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. So this is just green control pretty much, and all your dudes pretty much have counters on them. Yeah. And with Gargos, that makes it even better because you target one of your dudes, Gargos fights another dude, and your other dude fights another dude. And it's just like... <laughs> That's it, pretty silly. It hurts. It hurts a lot of people. And of course, this helps with uh, Hungering Hydra. When you fight a smaller guy and your guy gets bigger and you can swing in and it's just it gets fun with that i like that yeah and another this is almost slightly another reason why i added white because the the planeswalkers and also some control uh conclave tribunal it's it just it's just useful three in a white enchantment has convoked so you can tap your creatures instead of paying its mana cost but when it enters the battlefield exile target non-land permanent the opponent controls until tribunal leaves the battlefield so it helps get a planeswalkers or bigger dudes or whatever you need at yeah. that moment. And the best card of that is it says plane or permanent. So yeah. you literally get anything. Yeah, pretty much. Minus a land, but whatever. Oh whatever. It helps out with anything. Yeah. And and that is the thing, like I try to make I couldn't figure out what other creatures to put in with the Hydra, so hopefully this is a good mix with the planeswalkers, you know, buffering your defense while also buffering your hydras up. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the lands they're a little wonky because there's not meant much blue or white so hopefully all of it is all green so we have like the breeding pools the hinterland harbors the sand petal groves and the temple gardens which is the blue green and the white green all together and then we also have the smaller colors together so two glacial fortress hollowed fountain and if you want karn's bastion because we're proliferating for sure yeah because yeah, why not? A land that proliferates on top of the little elf dude? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Just end a turn. My dudes are bigger. Yeah. Swing. My dudes are bigger. And that's just the cool fun stuff. And it's 23 land. I might have to go up on that, but of course if you want to check out how the deck works, we do play them on our deck brawls on the channel, so go ahead and check those out. And with that, uh, we'll go into honorable mentions, because you know with uh, local meta, we don't know exactly what to do with the sideboard or what's even popular right now. I haven't seen much. On the standard tournament scene but but we do throw in some cards in there to maybe swap in swap out especially against control or aggro or whatever and the first one is a, a sure and a symbol because i love this card no matter what because for two green or white so two selesnia you put a one-on-one -on -one counter on target creature you control and it gets indestructible into turn thanks awesome that's what i love to do and then of course a symbol is four green and white 
it creates three 2-2 two -two knife tokens and with vigilance and it's good with against control if they board wipe and you can you didn't have the mana at the turn and you just you know i don't yeah. know i mean it's got its place but mostly you're gonna be playing this card for sure yeah, because yeah. it's just it's two mana save your dude yeah pretty much Next up is Flux Channeler, a blue and two for a 2-2. When you cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. So it basically replaces the evolution person in what kind of matchup you're doing. Because with blue, you, of course, you can have Cyborg with control. So you can put Flux Channel in for her. And then just hopefully be able to outmatch your dude with one Hydra and then proliferating by controlling the board and such. The next one is Gideon Blackblade because he's super good. He's not in the main board because he's too white and I don't know how well the mana is going to work out like that yet. But as long as it's your turn, he's a 4-4 human soldier with indestructible and he's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to Black Blade during your turn. Now you can plus one. Uh, up to one target creature you control gains Vigilance, Lifelink, or Indestructible. So to be able to give your smaller Hungering Hydra indestructible and swing. And if they want to block, we'll make it bigger. Or your bigger dude's lifelink, and then you just swing in and you just gain a bunch of life. A lot of people are outmatching lifelink right now, and Gideon really upsets the, the battlefield when he lands. And then minus six, which I've never seen actually happen, is exile target non-land permanent, which is good. And he starts out with four loyalty, so he can get there pretty yeah, well. Yeah, he's he's really strong. Yeah. Like, if you don't answer him, it's bad for he your life. He takes over the game real quick. And finally, a card that both of us love a whole lot, and it's just a really good uncommon, is Pulse of Marasa. Oh, it yeah. is a green and two for an instant return target creature or land card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. You gain six life. You gain six life. Thanks. I mean, it's just really good. Yeah. So early game, when you're playing against control, and they use all your burn spells on one Hydra, and you're just like, all right, end of turn, go get them back, I gain six. You just out outdone everything that they did. Yeah, mostly you use this on yourself, but it does say a graveyard, so you can hit their dude back if they're trying to reanimate you. You're just like, nah, put that dude back. I gained six. Thanks. Oh, that's pretty cute. I never knew that little... Yeah, I didn't either until I read it, and I was like, nah, neat. All right, we'll see how that goes then, for sure. But <laughs> with that, of course, that is the deck of Hell Hydra. If you want to go ahead and look at the deck list, it'll be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.